All right, man, torture talk. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. So look, yesterday I did an episode, and um, I was talking about uh, Drake with the duck lips and all stuff, but there was one part that I seen after I continued watching the video, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, it's actually about what's the dirt. And um, it's a lot of things I need to say about what's the dirt and um, why I think that uh, he could never be accepted anymore and the reason why I stopped. But let's get into that later. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave it done, a donation you can links on the screen catch that paypal in the description call me hidden gym i went from 1300 subscribers to over eleven thousand. a million by monday a million by monday yeah so let me know where you're from so we're gonna get into this clip man and um this comes courtesy of deleted and we're gonna continue from what we left off at <laughs> right, man. make sure y'all go subscribe to delete it Go. People wonder why he runs the numbers of streams. Because in a way, this dude is smart. People my age listen to his old shit for nostalgia. And people that are teens listen to him today because they can relate to his teenage perspective. He literally takes control of the airwaves, being able to make songs to feed every age bracket. But now he's slowly declining in numbers. Because after the Civil War, most of the adults that grew with Drake's music moved on from his same old song. So now he's finally seeing a slight decrease in numbers because he's only feeding the youth and the Drake gobblers who haven't grown up yet mentally. Hey, those stickers on your phone aren't helping with the allegations either. This nigga making me want to keep Meet the Grams on repeat. I guess he's going on a date night with Top 5. I'm sure he gotta pay you back somehow for setting him free, right? Can you believe this is the guy J. Cole wrote his love letter to? What, what did Kendrick say? Y'all niggas kissing and hugging on stage? Yeah, that bar hit different. Drake done morphed into the brat, took her whole style bar for bar and, and don't forget this is supposed to be your guys' toronto demon you can't go by drake no more gang you have to for real go by aubrey now you're aubrey somebody said he looked like penny proud and i can't unsee it i just keep thinking about how this is the pic he decided to post you know damn well drake took a hundred different pics with a hundred different poses and had his legs dangling on his bed scrolling through that trying to figure out which one's the best one to post sometimes i think that what Drake does is he tries to appeal to the feminine side of uh, people. And when it comes to women, he wants to kind of show them some love at the same time, still try to maintain a level of manhood. And it's just, it's a, it, it's a mess. It's a mess. I just don't, I don't agree with it. I don't think that this is, a good look for him. Well, let's keep it going. Kendrick's diss tracks that were aimed at Drake continue to age impressively well over time. And to think other grown ass men ride for this dude. Like, I'm serious. Watch them go to war in my comments over this man. I'm starting to think y'all just as zesty. Drake recently posted pictures on his Instagram story like the petty girl that he is and mocked Jay-Z by posting pics of Solange after the infamous elevator fight. And shortly after, an Aaliyah pic from her music video with DMX called back. Like, again, this goes back to what I said before. You putting your nose in the stuff that you have no business. Like, why are you posting pictures of Aaliyah? You don't know Aaliyah. You don't know Aaliyah. Like, why? Like, for what? It's just weird. In one piece. I also like to point out DMX hated Drake as well. What about Drake? You like Drake? No, I don't like anything about Drake. I don't like his voice. I don't like what he talks about. I don't, I don't like the way he walks like nothing. Drake's recent controversial posts are fueling the narratives that TikTok and YouTube's conspiracy theorists promote, essentially stirring the pot and falsely reinforcing claims to keep the spotlight on Jay-Z. I want to address those who don't necessarily buy into conspiracy theories. Just imagine a grown man leveraging these theories to take shots at his rivals. How bizarre and twisted could you for real get? And even if it was true, he's still moving 
is sassy as fuck. As if he doesn't have his own conspiracy allegations on trafficking women and children. That's a hundred percent facts. How you going to be out here trying to throw things at people when you have your own bullshit? That's the, that, that just shows you the level of narcissism that's on this dude, Drake. It's unreal how narcissistic Drake is. Unreal. Sometimes I just don't understand how and why he moves the way he moves. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Worry about your own shit. He's mad at Jay-Z for giving the Super Bowl spot to K-Dot. He felt the shade and he's taking it hard. I mean, his team made up a whole lie about passing on the Super Bowl spot, which the NFL confirmed that it was false. And what the hell is with this happy dad shit? We get it already. Damn, y'all are a cult. We understand. Whoever gobbles Drake the hardest gets a sponsorship deal to keep them paid. Get off y'all nuts already. I guess Drake is y'all daddy for real, and he's happy, huh? Speaking of happy dad, I'm so sick of this dude. Can you stop gobbling Drake, please? Holding that flyer is giving upset. It's like, i never seen somebody ruin their whole YouTube career off of one video and got so much stuff wrong in a video. And then what you do is you, you totally reinforce the narrative that you're pushing by wearing the shirt and holding the flyer that you said that Kendrick was at that put hands on his wife. Or his girlfriend. So what you do is now you're trying to troll. This is why I used to feel sympathy for what's the dirt. And I did a whole series on what's the dirt. And I did the whole thing. I actually broke down the whole thing. And I didn't release no, no more episodes. After I seen what the company man said to him and did to him, I decided not to release none of this stuff. Because I looked at it like, this guy's a fraud. And no, we don't want, and I did want him to do Meet the Grams. We don't want you to do it no more. I don't want you to do it no more. Because now you're playing in our face with stuff like this. The, you And you know you have withheld information. You know you did. For those who don't know, this is the flyer they claim where K-Dot beat Whitney at. It was already confirmed the dates were mixed up. Kendrick performed on May 3rd and Diddy May 26th, which would have been Memorial Weekend. It's obvious the woman that they seen bloodied in the hotel was Cassie, and it was obvious it was Diddy that beat on Cassie, and they got it mixed up with Whitney for whatever reason. What's even more crazy is that people really believe this narrative when there's a whole ass picture of the couple rock climbing with their friends and family the very very next day when this and when you watch and when you watch what's the dirt he does not include this picture he doesn't include this picture this is what i mean by these dudes just say anything they say anything and this is the reason why i could never support what's the dirt because you went from being a journalist to an activist and then you actively tried to destroy Kendrick because you are a part of Drake's uh, squad or whatever you want to call it. It's unbelievable. So-called beating took place. If you don't take your ass back to your cave and keep counting niggas and songs, you will wear
weirdo with your mark ass. And also, why do you keep trying to shade Kendrick as the messiah of rap? Why are you acting like the messiah is who showed up to the Civil War? Because the boogeyman did. I don't, I'm not understanding. You keep calling him our messiah and our savior, but that's not who showed up. The boogeyman showed up and he obliterated your girly pop over there. Hey, but besides all that, Drake is spiraling. He is literally transforming into a 15 year old stud girl before our eyes. He looks like a grown lesbian woman and I'm just concerned. Is He don't even look like Drake anymore and I'm not sure what the hell is going on. I'm, I'm lost. He looks like he could be a clone and I don't even believe in that shit. But hey, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, we'll subscribe to delete it. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how we just let dudes like what's the dirt and we just accept the things, these things. Now, to be fair, what's the dirt was he was pretty good from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We watched him. He broke down, you know, 616 LA, euphoria. He was doing his thing. But then he got to a certain point where he, he starts to attack the Kendrick fans it's like because you did a little bit of a you did a little bit of a you did a little bit of a push giving Drake a little bit of pushback and now all of a sudden you sitting here acting as if like you doing something great like come on man it just to me it's just it's very sad to see and I go back to what I said I don't want to see Meet the Grams now because now you're doing stuff to be smart and play in our face. You don't, the thing is, when people feel a certain way, you don't be sarcastic about it, especially when you're talking about people's feelings and livelihood. You can't get on here and keep calling Kendrick the Messiah. You're always saying that. Like, everybody's saying that. Adam 22, all y'all. And it's usually the white boys that say stuff like that. I don't understand it. Like it's it, to me, it's just disrespectful, and um, I'm not hearing it. So you can keep that meet the grams breakdown. I don't care for it no more. All right, man, we out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>